the Bria was made up from one pre, Yawara, one manba, Kadik, and Warmo. So there's five language group in the in, in just in the Brios that we are together now today. Yeah. And a lot of those language groups we just mentioned, they actually lived in and around this area in the past, long before us <laughs> yeah. people, you know? Yeah. And there was cultural exchanges there. They used to go mm. and ceremonies and and it, 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 it exchanging gifts and art and stuff like that back then, exchanging culture too, and yeah. song lines and stuff like that. Our dreaming line and our song lines crosses over in our neighbouring tribes too and it's great to see these fellas collaborating today, you know, still today working together, yeah, yeah. even though that happened thousands of years before us, not today. Yeah, the Brio Collective, we all come from different backgrounds. A lot of them are the men come from down south, west, they got the intergenerational trauma because they, a lot of them came from the massacre from Coniston, their families, and they live their life today still hard. They live in tin shacks, uh, no air condition, living in 45 degree heat, yeah, no running water. They live like that, most of our artists, Rio fellas, and they're doing it rough. And that's why I think you'll see a lot of their art you might see it all in you know, a different sort of pictures and whatever they paint because they're living it rough. Our culture or our, our people are mistreated, whether it's in, the, it's in the justice system, whether it's in the health, you know, and even just country and just day to day life, you know, where, where our culture and us might be challenged, you know. And art is just one of the ways that we could get message out there and saying, you know, it's not fair or it's it's not right, you know. And that's why I say that truth telling needs to be told in order to us to live in this this world that we are in today, you know, this, as a nation. To survive in that world a long time ago, you know, we had warriors then to, to protect their country and protect their family and survive in that thing. <clears throat> and it's no different to in this world today that we gotta be warriors, but we just gotta be different sort of warriors now to survive in this world today. And, and one of those challenges is maintaining our culture and keeping our culture mm. to adapt to this, this world here that we are in today. And just got to be really creative and just uh, smart. How do we maintain our culture and keep practicing our culture in this way? And, you know, using technology and using the things that we got around us today to maintain our culture. Yeah. So I think that spear sort of going through that power machine, it, it sort of represents that confronting these two worlds are meeting and then this is where we get hurt. And we touch on that, you know, where you go into someone's country and <clears throat> disrespect their, their way of living and or, or uh, disrespect their, uh, their protocol. There's consequences in that and in, in, in the old days you'll get speared. And so, and then, but that problem is you know, that one eye man it sort of represents that white people or European people that came here and seen our country and not knowing what connection that we have to that country and 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 how they seen that country and, and it's just for their own wealth like oh, we can mine there we can run cattle there without acknowledging that there's traditional people from that country. There's connection that we have to this country and there's a protocol, indigenous protocol is there. And that spear gone through this one eyed man that sort of represents that. And I think the poker machine just represents that um, gambling, the, the alcoholism, the pubs sort of life. So that's just, that's yeah. today life. Well, like we say in our art and that the trauma on people, but also the land we say is bleeding, crying, and sad, you know, for, for its people and sad for their objects gone too. Because objects, like I just said, belong to the country and the people, yeah. And just a way of expressing ourselves, making a noise through art, yeah, instead of talking with our mouth. It's a huge shift. A lot different to the dot, dot paintings and traditional paintings that people did. We, we can see that. And, but it might still reflect on ancestral beings, you know, in a different format, yeah, different contemporary art. Mm. You know, we change it around, but it could be same story of their country, their totem, or 
I got inspired by my uncle. He said to me, oh, all us beings here now today, human beings, we are reenacting what our ancestral beings did in, in the dream time, and we're acting like that today. I was inspired by that story. <laughs> we believe when someone, like our family pass away, they go back to their country, and, and that spiritual connection to that country, that talk to us not today. So Asma, we still got connection to our spiritual people that pass it through that land and country and mm. we kind of touch that on, on mining and and probably partial as well, you know, people gone destroying our country. Mm. When we have our artists, especially our Brio fellows, you know, they, 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 they came from bush and lived it pretty hard and tenant and live in tin houses and stuff like that. It's, it's good for them to see the actual, the sales, the meet the, um, the buyers mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, the, the, and just meeting the art industry out there, what, what's, what's, what's that offer and, and also the competitions and how, how, how other arts are working and doing things and how they do out there. And it was, it was good, good feedbacks that we had, but I would say the good, good um, outcome was, you know, we got people that was in the Benali that come pass through and spreading the good news that what we got to offer here in, in Tennant Creek. Tennant Creek had a bad rap for the, you know, for the last two years, and thanks to the media for that, you know, giving us a, a bad rap here, but went down there and then and, and showing what we got to offer here in Tennant Creek, and that totally changed the perspective of our through, through, through our nation, and that the Benali was um, really good. How it comes was? Um, positive. Positive, and yeah. Positive story for our community yeah. and our men. I kind of stand with the Black Lives Matters, you know, political things that we, you know, you got, you want to tell the truth story, you want to tell the nation, the world, you know, what our challenges are and what, what we face on a day to day basis, that art, art is a tool that you could share and tell story through art. And I was, um, and I was amazed when we were down there that, that um, art is one of the big tool that I never thought that it was a, you can use it as a political tool.